Breaking down the tide position by position with Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama. Get on over to Touchdown Alabama. Also, keep it right here on YouTube. You can check out uh, Stephen's work every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in my own words at 6 Central. Stephen, the running back room at Alabama is always stacked. It's It's been a, a legacy since Nick Saban took over of having those two future NFL backs kind of alternating and complementing one another. Uh, it's been more a stable of running backs here over the last five or six years. And of course, Demir Gibbs moves on to the NFL. Justice Hayes would be the, the incoming five star, but you got a couple of guys in Roydell Williams and Jace McClellan, who of course are trying to make their mark. Uh, you, you, got, you got Jace McClellan, you got Roydell Williams. You also have Jamarian Miller who has changed his name to Jam Miller. So he now goes by Jam Miller, according to the roadtide.com. And of course, you mentioned there Justice Haynes, the tremendous five star and Georgia legacy coming over from uh, Buford High School. And this guy in the training and the strength thing right now, I mean, just putting on squats, putting on weights, just the guy is just an absolute freak there in the weight room. You got him. And of course, in the summer, Richard Young, the other five star will arrive as well. But you break down this running back room, Mark, uh, moving, on, moving on from Jameer Gibbs as he pursues the NFL draft. He looks to be you know, a first-round pick, but more than likely go between uh, picks 15 or the bottom – between pick 15 or the bottom half there in that first round. And Gibbs, a, a guy that was just tremendously versatile, could run the ball between the tackles, had speed on, on the open edge, the perimeter on the outside, could catch the ball at the backfield. You can line him up as a wide receiver – he led all Bama wideouts with 44 catches this past year. So that just gives you what Jameer Gibbs is in terms of today's running back in the pros. But Jace McClellan comes back as the power guy. I mean, he brought power. He brought speed. He brought pass catching ability as well. Averaged 5.8 yards per carry as you got that there on screen, Mark. And it's just when Jace McClellan touched the ball last year, the offensive line got really excited to block for that young man just due to the power and the strength and just refusal to be brought down by one guy that he brings to the table, especially when you know, he was fully healthy last season uh, going back to suffered an injury in 2021 uh, against Ole Miss. So he came back last season fully healthy, and you saw what a healthy McClellan can do. Rodell Williams, remember, he came in that 2020 class out of uh, – out of uh, he came out of out of Hueytown High School here in Alabama, and a young man that versatile in his own right as a former four star, and he's got power, he's got speed, he's got you know versatile quickness in his game as a receiver out the backfield. There were moments where Coach Saban trusted him in some various situations. Now he is back, looking for an even bigger role within the offense. He plays a lot on special teams, but Williams looking to have a much more prominent role at that running back position uh, behind him. You've got Jamarian Miller, who in my, in my case, he kind of fits that Josh Jacobs role in the sense that he's a pinball back guys bounce off of him. He's got power as well. He's got vision. And in the games he played last year, especially late in those games, I mean, you saw it. I mean, you saw the quickness, you saw the burst, you saw the speed, probably not, I guess, as physical, physical at this point of his career as Josh Jacobs was, but you see some similarities, you see some resemblance there uh, to Jacobs, a young man in Miller who came from Tyler Legacy High School in Tyler, Texas, had over 5,000 yards across his career there. So uh, that young man looking to take a bigger step. And then Justice Haynes, the five-star, I mean, you cannot say more about this young man, finished his career with over 7,000 yards, at Georgia, uh, 95 touchdowns. The Bulldogs really thought they had this young man. Crimson Tide able to snatch him, get him, bring him over. He got a chance to be a part of the, of the Sugar Bowl prep there and prepare for Kansas State. I got a chance to play in the U.S. Army All-America game. Uh, uh, got a chance to do that. But, but here's a young man, Mark, that I mean has it all as a running back. You got the size. You've got the athletic ability. You've got the speed. you got the power. you got the burst. You got the vision. He can hurdle, much like Najee Harris hurdled. So a lot to like there when you look at Justice Haynes, and he will show fans quickly uh, in the spring game what he offers as a full package running back. But this room, uh, nothing short of stacked, nothing short of bodies to go around, 
and Jace McClellan as the head guy has a chance to show what he can provide here as that primary featured back. There you have it from Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama. We will be running through the tide on offense and defense position by position. So check out those videos. And of course, check out Stephen each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on YouTube. In my own words, 6 Central. Stephen, great to see you. Appreciate you stopping by, sir. Absolutely. You guys take care, Mark.